I'm back again and if you're wondering why I didn't upload any videos last week make sure and go check out my blog post about it I told you all about why I didn't so anyway um I actually did a video today on these lovely DIY Mickey ears and the reason I did these is because my recent video where I did my Disney World haul a lot of you requested that you wanted me to show you how to do these and the reason I originally made these is because on Etsy they're like $40. I mean, they're like, I think the minimum I saw for like these flower ones was like 30 bucks. And then like the most expensive ones I think were like 60, which is ridiculous because I'm pretty sure I made these for like under $10. I'll link everything and like all the prices and everything in the video. So, um, but I'm pretty sure it was about 10 bucks. And, um, I already had the glue sticks and the glue gun. So I don't count those as like a purchase, but if you don't have those, those are relatively inexpensive also. But um, I really hope you guys enjoy these. They're super easy to make. They're super fun and like very customizable. Mine, I just did black ears and um, blue and white flowers. And I actually made this other pair, which I wore in my last video. And these are just pink and yellow and orange. And then the black ears the same. So um, I really hope you guys enjoy this. And I will link everything that you guys need to purchase down below in the description box and so make sure you check that out and give this video a thumbs up please and let's get to 500 subscribers we are so close to 500 subscribers and I promised you guys that once we get to 500 I will do a giveaway I don't really know what I want the giveaway to be yet but I definitely will do one I'm just not really sure so maybe give me some ideas what you guys want for a giveaway and um, don't forget to go follow me on Twitter and on Instagram and on snapchat and I will see you guys on Thursday Bye guys. Alrighty, so small wooden embroidery rings. I got these ones from Michaels. And then any color paint of your choice, spray paint works the best, but any paint will do. And then um, some fake flowers. I actually got these at the dollar store for super cheap and they have tons of colors. And then a headband, also of your choice, but this one is a, um, it like adjusts to the size of your head which is really cool and then just something to spray paint on and some plastic gloves so you don't get all messy and then just a hot glue gun with some glue sticks okay so you're going to want to take apart these embroidery rings they come with like two rings and they're screwed together so just take them off and you're going to hold on to the inside part that inner piece is going to be your ears go ahead and just completely saturate them with the spray paint front back everything I got this matte black spray paint from Walmart I think it was like 350 and it works so easy it's a lot easier than just like delicately painting each side and don't worry if you don't get all of it you can always go over it again or do what I did here and I just kind of rubbed the paint into the wood it sticks really easily because it's wood the wood absorbs the paint so it kind of holds on to it a lot easier than like if you were painting plastic and then I just kind of rubbed it in and then just let those sit for a few hours to dry. All right, this part is the most fun. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your headband and like I said, my headband that I got was adjustable. So you can fit it to your head and then place it down on um, the paper or the ground or whatever you're using. And then just go ahead and glue the ears on once you figure out where you want them. Because sometimes it's hard to get them a little symmetrical. But once you figure out where you want them on the headband, go ahead and just hot glue them to the headband in place. Once that's dried, go ahead and pluck all of your little fake flowers off of the stems because we're not using the stems. And then go ahead and just start gluing them on wherever you want them. I like to make them completely covered in the flowers because I think it just looks a lot better when you don't really see the headband piece of it once it's on your head. So I put flowers all over the front, all over the back, and this is where you kind of get to play around. You kind of get to pick out, you know, your color scheme and what order you want your flowers in. And it just makes it totally customizable. Everybody can have a different one. And it just makes them special, you know, it makes them unique to you. And like I said, put them on the back also. It looks so much better. And if you have a different pattern, um, like if you have blue, white, blue on the front and then on the back you can have like purple, blue, white then you can kind of have like a different versatile look each time you wear them if you want to wear them front or back. 
but I absolutely love these and it's so much fun to make them and it's so cool to have something that's so unique. So many people stopped me in Disney World and asked me where I bought them and where they could find them and it was neat to tell everybody like, hey, you can make them yourself. So I really hope you guys had fun watching this and I hope you have fun making these because these are just so cool to make and if any of you guys are going to Disney, definitely send me pics if you make any of these. Love you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Oh,